the, the idea of socialism has become very popular among young people. And the reason that it's become popular among young people is because they've been told that it is moral. Not that it works, not that it's great, but that it's moral. It's fair. And we all like things that are fair. If we're in a room and somebody has more money and somebody has less money, wouldn't it be more fair if we just pooled the money and then we split it up evenly among the participants? You know, just like the cookies in kindergarten. Except, of course, that's not the way the world works, and that's not actually moral. Because in a free country, wealth and the capacity to gain it is largely contingent on the decisions that you make. It doesn't just fall upon you. Most wealth in the United States is not inherited. Most wealth in the United States is created over the course of lifetimes by people who engage in economic activity and commerce. Capitalism is good because capitalism is freedom. Socialism is bad because socialism is tyranny. Not it's an aspect of tyranny. Socialism itself is tyranny. The statement of socialism is that your labor is owed to the society. The notion of socialism is that you do not own your own freedom. You do not own your own time. You do not own your own labor. You do not own your own work. You do not own the products of your own work. The basic notion of capitalism is you own all of those things, and now you have to engage in free exchange with someone else who does not owe you anything. If you want to thrive, if you want to succeed, you are going to have to make something somebody else wants. People think capitalism is selfishness. No, socialism is selfishness. The notion that I have to somehow supply you the money so you can sit in your basement and paint with watercolors. Socialism, the idea that I'm supposed to fulfill all your dreams by paying you for something I don't want and have no need for. 